Well, I'm on the road again, and I sung it the last, or I tried to sing it. Okay. I won't wreck your ears with me singing on the road again, but I'm on the road. Well, there I go, doggone it. I'm on the road again. Yes, I am. I'm on the road again. It's middle of the day, and it's kind of hot. And I didn't go, I didn't go, uh, to Publix yesterday and I didn't do I did very little in the shop so but when I get back I got some stuff I gotta do I did get my seat adjusted on this thing where it ain't laying back so far that was killing my back I don't know why it did that but I got it fixed now Alright, I got to go over all that again. I just printed some cards that I'm going to be passing out to my neighbors and stuff. And print anybody I meet, try to drum me up some scrap business. And it's got my picture when I was in the military on the right upper side. And on the left upper side, it's got my rank and signature, um, which is a spec 5. And a spec or it actually stands for specialist. A specialist is not like a sergeant or a corporal or anything like that. A specialist is um, something you're a specialist or an expert at. And I was an ammunition specialist. But uh, it's got my name. It says Junk Darber, check me out on YouTube. And got my phone number, my name. It says Russell Pearson and grandson. And then it's got the, uh, please just donate your recyclables, disabled U.S. Army veteran. Now that, I'm not sure, I hope that's not misleading. I am a veteran, I am disabled, but my disability is not service connected. And uh, on the back side of this thing, and this is a misprint on the back, but basically what it says is, I recycle computers and all electronics, ceiling fans, TVs, cords, aluminum cans, pots and pans, auto parts, vacuum cleaners, and lamps. But I straighten the misprint out on that the next batch. I, I'm printing like 20 cards at a time, so I'll use these up. But no, I just hope that's not. Me. Matter of fact, you comment. You, if you, some of you folks ought to comment on the, whether that's misleading or not. What? Because I am a dis I am a veteran and I'm disabled, but it's just not service connected. And I don't want people going off thinking I've got wounded or something or hurt in the military, because I didn't. The only hurt I got in the military was a couple of fights I got in. And I did get in some fights. <laughs> Stupid stuff. Okay, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled because in the last two weeks I have found a total of or $35 cash, cash money, uh, day before yesterday I found three fives laying right down here, I almost missed it. I'm, I, I went I, I went by it but out of the corner of my eye I caught the five there's a can oh and I had to back up yeah that's what it was three five dollar bills and then Up here, right 
right up here, not this driveway. Last week, I forget what day it was. And I, it's one of them deals where I thought my camera was on and it wasn't. But right up here in this little patch of grass. Right about in here. $20 bill. Just shining very good. Bella, you can admit you that people's really well I guess it's good that you're cautious, but they're overly cautious sometimes. As long as they stay between the lines, they ain't gonna hit me. Anyhow, $35 in the last two weeks. And I still got twenty dollars of it. Don't look like I'm gonna find any money this time. Whoops! Got to go down there. I see another can. I guess when I'm finding these flat cans like that, that's some that somebody sold out overnight in the street and they get run over and then I wish this scooter had more torque anyhow can let me grab that sucker up oh, I'll get off on this side now something wrong with my seat it won't swivel all the way out for some reason something's it's catching on something Boy, that's a big step over there. No. Oh. Gosh almighty, let me get that leg up. There we go. I wish I could ride a bicycle. I haven't forgot how to ride a bicycle. It's just that I can't lift my legs up high enough to get over. Uh, to get over a bicycle. Oh, uh, I made the mistake about a year ago and uh, bought a three-wheel bicycle to go scrapping in. And went and picked it up. And I got that thing home, I couldn't get on it. I couldn't get my legs lifted up high enough. So that was, that was a total waste. Total waste. I wound up selling it. There's a can. Uh, oh! That's kind of a little bit of bank there, so I gotta, of course I could hit the fence and something. By the way, that's Caroline's yard over there. That's that lady I was talking, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh shoot. I <clears> mean, <throat> Folks, I'm in my <laughs> ignorant old man. Gosh almighty. See, that's what I'm talking about getting on these banks.
bag. Go. I'm going to have to start bringing my cane. I fell several times in the last, well, I say maybe three times in the last month out here doing this. But every time I fell, I didn't have my, I don't leave my can, there's another can on the bank. Oh boy. I ain't gonna truck, I ain't gonna risk it. I, I fell several times, but I never have the camera on. I, I tend to leave the camera off. And I tell it to come on. And I use voice commands on it. So sometimes I have to take my hat off. and look to see if it's on because I can't see the light blinking. I wonder what the heck. Yeah. I see these little, there's there's one, two, three, four of these little bottles laying over there. And I ain't got my bag on. And they're plastic. Cute little bottle. But I guess it's some kind of power booster or something. But there's, I see these all the time. All the time. There's one right there. Shoot across here to the other side. Now what was I talking about? No, sir, I need I need to figure out there's a can over there. I need to figure out some way to where I can bring everything with me. I need a cane and boy, that's a bank. You know what? I'm gonna have to get my grandson over here to grab those off the bank. I, I don't feel like falling today, folks. Even if I could get up, even, now somebody stole a bag of trash down there. Gosh dang it, I get so sick of this. I mean, I know I got, there's a can down yonder too. I know I got a trashy backyard and all that, but that's in my backyard. It's out of sight in the front of the house. But I'm not throwing trash and crap on people's property. But there, there it lays. I told my daughter the other day, I said, I want me and Jay to go over there and I'd like for you to go with me, is what I told her. Uh, and we'll go over there in the car and take a couple of bags and clean this place up. You know, oh, you ought to hurt her. Well, why don't you clean up your own mess out here? Well, my own mess ain't, ain't on somebody else's property start with and I wouldn't dare be a litter bug on out in the public property and stuff it's crazy why don't you clean your own mess up well <laughs>
There's a can right there. Can I get it? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Try not to get too far down that bank. Oh, oh, Lord, 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 oh. And if I had my cane, it wouldn't be. But see, that bank goes down there. I have to be, you just wouldn't believe how careful I have. Is that another tin right there? Yeah, it is. That's two for one. Okay. All right. That one sub of mine, that viewer, I'm stopping at the stop sign again. There it is. Some beautiful coffee pots, and they both got coffee in them. Wonder which one's the freshest. Um, need to check to see if I got anything or anything that needs to be filled. Russell Pearson. Oh, Lord. Ma'am? I don't see anything ready for you. Are you looking for Okay. Y'all said y'all could check to see if my insurance pays for that. For what? The single thing. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yes, sir. I used to be as skinny as you are. <laughs> what happened? I got married. Hey, I guess you got married too, but that's ain't Here, take this. Let me show you how skinny I was. See that picture up on the left, on the right? Yes, sir. That's me. All right. Uh, 1959. Here, you can have that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you want one too, sir? Yeah, sure. Go check me out on YouTube. Harris 410. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing. You doing all right? I'm not yeah. checking out yet. I got them. I got. To, let me give you one of these cards. I made some cards. Cool. And that's that's me junk, and I'm on YouTube. Okay. And I haven't uh, really been on YouTube you, much, but I can give it a try. Hmm. Um, I haven't been on YouTube much, but I can give it a try. I see it popping up. Go on, subscribe to me. I'm trying to get enough subscribers to get monetized. <laughs> you have a good day, dear. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Anything else we get there for you? Hmm? Anything else we get there for you? I didn't hear you. Oh, anything else we get there for you? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Right. You have a good day. I wish I wasn't hard of hearing. I wish. How you doing, sir? Good, How you doing, sir?
Maybe some donuts, my daughter an uh, apple fritter, me an apple fritter, my grandson an apple fritter or a donut, whichever one he wants, and my other grandson if he wants one. So actually, there's five of us, so that leaves an extra one. And I guess my youngest grandson will get the extra one. <clears throat> I sure love my family. I, you know, they're a pain in the butt sometimes. But I, I would be in such bad shape. I mean, mentally, I would just be in bad shape. If, it, if I didn't have them, if I didn't have them, you know, it's bad enough that I ha don't have my wife anymore and my son that died when he was 14 in 86. But one thing you know, my wife and I, were, we were married for 48 years. Well, we're still married. I ain't never got no divorce, and she didn't get no divorce. Yeah, I seen that guy right there. He's pouring out stuff right there. You know what? I'm going to turn him in. I'm going to turn. I seen that the other day. And I said, something's getting dumped there that ain't supposed to get dumped there. I'm going to turn them in now. I flat am. I don't... I hate to make something hard on somebody, but yep. Right there it is. He's poured it. He's poured it. Pouring it in the wood. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to turn him in. I'm going to turn him in. And don't, I don't want to hear nobody say it ain't none of my business because it is my business. It is my business. You know what? I got a story to tell. Yeah, I got an interesting story. Uh, my, uh, everybody said I was crazy, I was nuts. But my wife died 11 years. She died in 2007. December of 2007. And uh, we always, we did our grocery shopping at Winn-Dixie, and we'd been doing that for years. So most of the cashiers and stuff in Winn-Dixie knew us. And about four months after my wife passed away, this one cashier come up to me, and she knew me by my first name and there, and she knew my wife. And she said, Russell, I got somebody I want you to meet. And uh, I wasn't interested. But the next time I was in there, she hit me up about it again. Said, this is really a nice lady. She's a, she's a widow and she's lonesome. Well, I said, okay. And she took me 
over to this checkout and introduced me to this lady who looked like she was 65 or older, uh, about my age. Her name was Linda. Well, they introduced us and the lady gave me her phone number and uh, I told her I'd give her a call sometime. A couple of days later I did because the other cashier asked me, have you called Linda yet? No. So I called her. And uh, we started going out and I had dinner over there, I don't know, three or four times. And I, back then I was into photography pretty heavy and I had did some pictures of us and portraits and stuff. And uh, when, and then one night, of course I give her copies of the picture too. But one night I come over there and she had one of them pictures of me and her together and she had it framed and sitting on her nightstand. Uh, I got real nervous. And, but the thing about it, I liked the lady and I probably could have loved her. I don't know. But the thing is, she was extremely rich. She had her own, she had a condo, that's, that's where I was going to see her at her condo. And those places weren't cheap. And she's from Miami and she had a condo in Miami and a house. So that was three properties she owned. And she draw the pension. She was a school teacher. And she draw the pension from the school, Dade County School Board on the retirement. Her social security plus she was working. And I didn't think too much about it then but one day we was going somewhere and I said, where are we going? She said, I'm fixing to buy this house, I think. And I'm like, you gonna move? And she said, no, it's just seems like a good buy. So I'm thinking, well, if a good buy comes along and you buy a house just to, for an investment and pay cash for it, uh, she's got a lot of loose cash laying around. And we went over there and the real estate guy that met her uh, was showing her around and telling her and she said she always likes good investments. And she bought that house. I think it was 110000 And then he started telling her about the one next door that he had listed too. And she turned around right there almost on the spot and bought two houses. Uh, now keep in mind, I ain't hardly got two nickels to rub together. And there was, I got, but there's just, I, I don't, I can't carry on a relationship with this woman because of, of her financial situation. Uh, I felt like if I prolonged it, it would be like, at some point, she'd probably be offering me money or something, you know, something comes up or something. That I was afraid of that. Uh, I, 
it's hard to explain. Well, to start with, I still felt like I was married. And I was just going out with her because it was good company. And, but when she bought them two houses, I, I didn't see her no more after that. And then I thought, I, I, after about two or three weeks, I thought, you know, that was really crappy of me to do her like that. And uh, so I went over to see her. Well, she wasn't there, I don't guess, because nobody come to the door and, and the garage part was closed. But right about then, I was getting ready to leave, her daughter pulled up. And her daughter raked me over the coals. And talking about, I broke her mama's heart. And I, you know, I really felt terrible then. And, uh, but it just, it, it's not in me to maintain a relationship or something because they got money. I just can't do it, and that might sound stupid because there was a whole bunch of people telling me, you are a first-class idiot. Ain't you got no sense at all? And stuff like that. Even my daughter said, I think you should have hung on to her. Uh, well, if she didn't have all that money, I probably would have. But it just wasn't in me to do that. I can't, and I always feel bad or guilty about something when somebody gives me something, just, you know, uh, something expensive or real nice. You know, they just want to do that for me or something. And, and I feel, I don't feel right taking it. You know, I. I don't feel like I deserve that. And I'm sure Linda would have probably took care of me. But I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, Every once in a while it crossed my mind, well, maybe I should have carried on a relationship. Nah, it's not in me. It's not in me to do that. I just, I know people that has done that. Uh, but I can't do it. I just, I, I just can't do it. But she, she was a nice lady. We was going to, Back then, I was still involved with Boy Scouts with my grand oldest grandson, and we was going to scout functions and stuff, and going to uh, uh, Eagle Scout banquets and all that stuff. And everybody just assumed I was fixing to marry her, but I couldn't do it. Comments, please. Do you think I was nuts? Do you think I should? I I just couldn't do it. I, it kind of sounds dumb to me, but it's not my money. It's hers and her dead husband's, you know. I wish we could have carried on a relationship without it getting serious. That would have been, been good. But I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Because I, I couldn't buy her the things that she could buy me. I couldn't take care of her like she could take care of me. It just, just won't gonna work. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> uh, grown man sitting here anyway
keep it together, folks. Keep it together.